Alaska. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Childhood obesity has become an epidemic in America. 25% of children in this country are considered overweight. Obesity can cause major health care concerns like muscle and joint pain, sleep apnea, cardiac and digestive problems. So what has changed in this country to cause children to become so overweight? Scientists examining the epi epidemic state there are root causes including an increase of carbohydrates coupled with a sedentary lifestyle, genetic abnormalities, and an increase of body mass index during pregnancy. The prevention of childhood obesity should be the responsibility of parents, since the main contributing factors are unhealthy lifestyle choices, genetic abnormalities, and an increase of body mass index during pregnancy. As you can see by my visual aid here, you can clearly see the overwhelming changes of childhood obesity from the years of 1963 to 2002. This graph was taken from the Center for Disease Control and is based on the National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey Index. Children were only included in this graph if they were in the 95th percent. <laughs> Most studies agree that the main contributing factor to this epidemic is a change in lifestyle. <laughs> Most children... <laughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry for the interruption. Most children have an increase of highly concentrated sugary snacks and drinks coupled with a sedentary lifestyle. If you look outside today, it's rare to see children riding their bikes or playing tag. Most American children's after-school activities consist of watching TV and playing video games. The total amount of fat c consumed in today's diet has decreased from 33% to 37%, but the total amount of carbohydrates has increased. Carbohydrates are made up of simple and complex sugars. The increase of sugars has contributed to childhood obesity. Also contributing to this problem is the availability of fast foods in convenience stores. Children have the opportunity to snack between meals and this increases their total caloric intake. The consumption of milk has been replaced by highly concentrated sugary drinks like sodas. Today's teenager has tripled their intake of sodas. This causes a vicious cycle where the more sugar that you intake, the more that you crave it. Scientists have wondered if there's more to this epidemic than just a change in lifestyle. Case studies have found that 5% of Caucasians are considered overweight, while 50% of South Sea Islanders are overweight. This begs the question, could this be contributed to hereditary? Studies have found nine different genes that can be linked to obesity. The most dominant of these genes is the fat mass and obesity gene, or FTL. This gene has been shown to have a correlation with an increase of body mass index. The OB gene is expressed in adipose tissue and has an increase of serin leptin. This increase in leptin levels increases adipose tissue within children. In 10% of people, the gene INSIG2 was shown to increase obesity and type 2 diabetes. While many studies have been conducted to see if there is a correlation between gene abnormalities and obesity, more research needs to be done. Newborns have increased their birth weight over the years. Studies have been conducted to see if there is a correlation between women who have high body mass index during pregnancy and an increase of birth weight. These studies have discovered that those women tend to have newborns large for gestation. The effect on the fetus is not necessarily the adipose tissue but the complex diseases associated with obesity. Pregnancy places an increased demand on the body, so these diseases are more pronounced. The largest contributor to this is gestational diabetes. The higher a female's body mass index, the greater risk of developing gestational diabetes. The mother has an increase of blood sugar called hyperglycemia. This increase of sugar goes to the fetus and helps to grow unwanted adipose tissue. This increases the fetal's birth weight and risk for diseases throughout life. 26% of children are overweight by the age of 2 in this country. Prevention during pregnancy is a major way to give children a healthy start in life. 
Based on the evidence I found while researching this complex and growing problem, there can be little debate that childhood obesity is a major health care concern. Studies have done countless studies to, cause, to see what the causes of this epidemic are. Their conclusions have been that the main factors contributing to this health care concern is lifestyle choices, genetic abnormalities, and an increase of body mass index during pregnancy. Every parent has the responsibility to give their child a healthy start during life. Parents can do this by creating an action plan for their family to increase healthy lifestyle choices, know their genetic makeups, and have a normal body mass index during pregnancy. Our youth deserves the best start at life. Let's make them a priority. Does the audience have any questions? <laughs> I uh, guess, as a matter of fact, I do. Um, have studies found any uh, chemical uh, causes to childhood obesity? Yes, actually we have. <laughs> Everyday households use many chemicals which can contribute to the hormone changes. Hormones are produced in adipose tissue. During adolescence, teenagers have an increase of hormones which can have an increase in adipose tissue. Are there um, any other questions? Yeah, I had one. Um, uh, have studies found uh, differences among social economical groups? Yes, they have. Studies have found that children that live in poor urban neighborhoods typically are more obese. They have contributed this to grocery stores not having as much fresh produce and a high incidence of crime. Children are scared to go outside and play on the playground. Well, thank you for coming and listening to this very complex and serious topic.